Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the graph of linear inequality in two variables. So let's have this example. Graph the linear inequality 2x plus 4y is greater than 12. In our linear equation, we have different ways or methods to graph the equation. We have the x and y intercept, the slope, slope rise over run, and in this case, um, let us first write into inequality. So that is uh, into equation, linear equation. 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. Okay. Let us first graph this. 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. The easiest way here is to get the y-intercept and the x-intercept. To get the x-intercept, let y be 0. So let y be 0 to get the x-intercept. So if y is 0, so we have 3x plus 4 times y is 0 is equal to 12. Now we have 3x is equal to 4 times 0, that is 0, is equal to 12. Divide by 3, now x is equal to 12 divided by 3, 4. So our x-intercept is 4, 0. Now to find the y-intercept, let x be equal to 0. So 3 times x is 0 plus 4y is equal to 12. 3 times 0, that is 0. Now we have 4y is equal to 12. Get y, so we need to divide by 4. y is equal to 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So our y-intercept is 0, 3. Okay. If we're going to plot in our Cartesian plane, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 0, 3, 0, 3, it's here. So in our equation, we're just going to connect the two points and that will be our graph but since we are in the linear inequality and we have this symbol greater than greater than so since that is greater than we're going to use the broken line for the greater than broken line. That means okay. That means this is our line. Now in a in in linear inequality we have this testing the origin the zero zero. Okay, we need to test our origin. If the origin make the inequality true, shade the half plane containing the origin. If the origin make the inequality false, shade the half plane does not contain the origin. So we need to test our linear inequality. So by the origin, the origin is 0, 0. 3x plus 4y greater than 12. So 3 times 0 plus 4 times y is 
0 greater than 12. 3 times 0, this is 0, plus 4 times 0, is also 0, greater than 12. Is 0 greater than 12? So this is false. Okay, false. Since false, if the origin made the inequality false, shade the half plane does not contain the origin. So we are going to shade. We will not include the origin, the, this part. So our graph will be this one. This is our graph. This will be the graph of the inequalities. All the numbers here satisfies the linear inequality. Let's have another example. This time, let's have this example. Graph the linear inequality 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to negative 6. So, we're going to use this time the slope-intercept form. Or the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b. Or if you want, you can also use the x and y intercept or two point. Any method that you are comfortable to use. So this time, let's use the slope intercept form or the SIM. So let's make it 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. Now, make it into y is equal to mx plus b. So 3y is equal to, move to the right, negative 2x minus 6. Just copy minus 6. So 2x, we're going to move to the right, that will become negative 2x. Now, let us divide by 3. So we have now y is equal to negative 2 over 3, then copy x, negative 6 divided by positive 3, that is negative 2. So this is now our slope-intercept form. In our slope-intercept form, we can find our m, which is this slope, negative 2 over 3. And our y-intercept, which is b, negative 2. Now let us locate in our Cartesian plane. So first, locate the y-intercept. So from the vertical line or the y-axis, find negative 2. So negative 1, negative 2. The point is located here. Next, the slope is 2 over 3. So rise from the y-intercept, rise 1, 2. Then since this is negative, run going to the left three times. 1, 2, 3. So the point is located here. Again, let us repeat. Negative 2 on the y-axis. Then rise, rise two times. 1, 2. Then run to the left because it is negative. One, two, three. Now we are ready to connect our line. I'll connect the points. We'll make a line. So this will be the line. Okay. So we're going to use the straight line, not a broken line, because in our inequality, greater than or equal. Take note of that. So if you will encounter equal, it must be not a broken line. Now let us test the origin. Test the origin, 0, 0. So test 0, 0. 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0 greater than or equal to negative 6. So 2 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is greater than negative 6. 0 is greater than negative 6. Is it true or false? It is true. Okay. 
since true, if the origin make the inequality true, shade the half plane containing the origin. Containing the origin, so we will shade this part. Okay, this will be the graph of our inequality. So that means all the shaded parts satisfies our inequality 2x plus 3y greater than or equal to negative 6. So that is the graph of linear inequality in two variables. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.